Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. This video is, I, I want to say it's my very first video for Scoopable Wax Melts, but it's not my first purchase. Um, Scoopable Wax Melts is owned by Kathy and Tim. I, I think it's Faley, but it might be Folly. Um, F-A-H-L-E-Y. I apologize. I don't know how to say that one correctly. Um, from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, Kathy is the mom of Jenny Oaks, who owns Rose Girls. So, um... Kathy and Tim retired, and then they got back into making wax for us out of retirement and having a good old time um, blending up these beauties for us. So um, I, I, I've only purchased, this is I think my third order from a Scoopable Wax Melts, um, and I purchased back when it was Scoopable Tart Wax, and then Kathy changed her name to uh, be a little bit more inclusive to all of uh, wax melts, whether it's her harder wax and her loaves or her cookies or her chunk her chunk bread, all the other varieties she offers us. But my love are her scoops. I love her scoops. And I have I have purchased a couple of times before, like I said, and I really don't remember why I haven't made a video. Um, and I think I'm probably the only person in her group that did not make an order from the Three Cakes pre-order, the massive, largest pre-order to date, uh, record-breaking pre-order that, that Kathy and Tim poured in record time, it seems. But in January, she's going to be having another Three Cakes pre-order, so I think I'm going to have to buy a handful of things in, in the scoops. So um, I got a handful of things from the Black Friday sale. Kathy and Tim were so generous to offer 25% off, so I got up early on Friday after Thanksgiving and uh, made a little order. So um, I took everything out of the box. Uh, I got everything ready to go out to the out to the curb uh, this week. So um, each order comes beautifully packed. Everything is wrapped in a colorful tissue paper like this. I've unwrapped all of these, but I wanted to show uh, if you're if you're new to this vendor, you're not quite sure how that's going to come to you. Um, it's nestled in a box beautifully with packing peanuts, and then these are wrapped in pink and green, uh, like a fluorescent hot green. Um, those are some of the colors that she has in her uh, for her for her company colors for her company and uh, then each one comes with this thank you so much for your order please tag us on social media with your photos featuring the item you purchased Kathy and Tim so these are the thank you cards I just I love the bright vivid neon colors that um, she chose to have for her for her business so let's get started um, I did get one two three four eight scoops and one wax cookie which is up here so just going to go for the scoops. I uh, made a few requests as a lot of us, I mean, all of us made requests, I think. And some of mine were poured and I had to get, I had to get some of them. This first one was not a request of mine, however, but it got a lot of hype in the group before. And this is rustic bakery bread, rustic bakery bread. There we go. This is warm, comforting scent of freshly baked bread from a bakery. So this is these are six ounce uh scoops and you can you can just scoop these out with a spoon or a a wooden a popsicle stick or a regular you could take just a spoon out of your silverware drawer and dedicate it to you know your wax scoops just keep it in your wax stuff this this scoops out beautifully um i love scoops and if you watch me, you know, there is another vendor who I also love their scoops. But I will say, you know, um, Kathy's, Kathy's texture of her wax, I have finished several of her scoops. And I've talked about it in my empties videos. The one thing that I will say that Kathy's wax does consistently is it's clean. You could even pop this out. If you put this in the freezer, you could even pop this out and slice it down with a knife and then make it easier for you to put it into your warmer. I personally don't do that, but I've seen others talk about it and it works because if you put wax in the freezer in your warmers, you can pop out, you know, theoretically the spent wax and, you know, toss it that way. I personally do the cotton ball method, but her wax is beautiful. And she, in terms of, I mean, just look at that, that beautiful surface. It scoops out beautifully. It's very satisfying, actually, when you're scooping it out. Put it in your warmer. And then when you get down to the bottom, this whole thing is clean. I mean, there's very little, very little 
residual wax left in the in this container I love that because you're getting absolutely everything out of here that you can so this here smells just like warm baked warm warm fresh bread this reminds me of there's several other vendors who have a nice crusty bread like this and this one to just to just let you know what it's reminding me of if you've ever smelled uh dessa's fresh uh, bread and jam that bread note that's in that in that uh blend that's what this reminds me of and it's one of my favorite bread blends i could just smell this forever so when I saw that this was offered, I had to grab this and I'm so happy it didn't jump out of my cart because I love this. This can be great on its own and it can be blended with anything too because it's bread. So I love this blend. I think it's a single oil, but I could be wrong. I'm just guessing this is this is delicious. Delicious. I made that made that word up. So <laughs> The next one here, let's keep on the bread train. This is almond bread. Now, I love almond. Almond, amaretto, you name it, I love it. I, I've always have. I've always been an almond fan. This is rich, sweet, and nutty almond fragrance blended with our fresh baked bread scent. So, this is Rustic Bread Bakery. So, I don't know if it's quite the same. We'll see if I can tell. But maybe it's a different bread oil. It smells similar to this maybe it is the same oil in terms of the bread part i'm saying but the almond is not cherry it is very true to the nut it smells like a toasted almond to me it has that beautiful rich nutty quality that a lot of us love with almond and going with that bread is just going to be even more satisfying look at that beautiful pink love that pink um, Kathy does not put her pour dates on her labels, but what I do is when I get each order of those vendors that don't have the pour date on it, I just mark, you know, the month and the year of when I got it because that's good enough for me. Next one here is, this was one of my requests. This is a Rose Girls blend. Kathy will pour some of Jenny's blends and Jenny will pour some of Kathy's blends. Uh, you know, Kathy started it all after all. So she she and Jenny um, do, do uh, participate with each other's blends, which I love because sometimes I um, don't necessarily want to make a purchase um, of the mini melters that Rose Girls has. Sometimes I just, I love scoops. They're easy. They're convenient. They throw like crazy in any warmer in my home. And I love that Kathy is so generous that she will pour it in scoops. And like I said, I, I haven't purchased any of her loaves or her, her mini loaves or her harder wax other than I have purchased a couple of these cookies like this. So I guess I, I guess I have, but, um, sometimes I just, I don't want to chop. I just want to scoop and go. And I love the, like I said, I love the convenience of these. And I just, I love the, the, the performance in my home. This is banana bread carbs. We'll get to the wax. This is banana bread carbs. I love this vivid, bright yellow color. Gorgeous. Love it. This is, this is a fantastic blend, by the way. It's, it's scrumptious, it's fattening, it's yummy, it's everything. This is a blend of banana cream pie, fresh baked zucchini bread, fresh baked bread, cookies and donuts. So carbs is the cookies and donuts and bread. And then the zucchini bread and the banana bread, uh, excuse me, the banana cream pie make up the banana bread part of the banana bread carbs. So this here, it's so good. And this is not an artificial banana. This smells like the fresh banana cream pie that we love in the summertime with that custard and those fresh bananas maybe on top with the whipped cream. I like whipped cream on my on my pies. This it the zucchini bread I love. I love Rose Girls and Kathy's zucchini bread oil. I think they use the same oil. I love it. It it it's so good. It has a little bit of a little bit of spice to it, but it also has a beautiful creaminess to it. It's perfect. I mean, there are, I love zucchini bread, and there are a few vendors out there whose zucchini bread are better than others, and and Kathy's and Rose Girls are up at the top. And this blend is is exceptional. Even if you don't really like banana 
when this warms up, the bakery part takes over the bread and the cookies and the zucchini bread. It, it really all combines beautifully to where that banana is just, it's not too much in your face. This is just, this is such a good blend. I'm just trying to, to get it across to you as much as I can, how this blend is fantastic. And I did not buy more than one of each. I wanted to, but I told myself, no, be good, Ashley. This next one here, this is a new blend to me. Um, this is Royal Zucchini Bread Three Cakes. Now, I think I said earlier, I think I'm the only person who did not participate in the Three Cakes pre-order. <laughs> um, and um, But I know the Three Cakes has been such a success for her. Um, it is simply yellow cake, birthday cake, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Three cakes. So yellow cake, birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's is blended with Royal Zucchini Bread. And I don't right now remember quite what is in Royal Zucchini Bread, but it might be Sugar Cookie Royale mixed with Zucchini Bread, which just makes it all that better. That's my guess. I'm not for sure on that one. Let's see. And just look at the beautiful texture on the top. Like, look how smooth that is, how perfect that is. I just, I love Kathy Scoops. This smells to me three cakes if you haven't smelled three cakes three cakes to me is cupcakes at tiffany's heavy but it's much creamier than just plain cupcakes at tiffany's so i'm not crazy in love with three cakes on its own i have had a i bought one three cakes scoop you know i think when it was first introduced or maybe the time after it was introduced i bought one to see what it was all about because i i'm kind of not leery of cupcakes at tiffany's but it's not something i really gravitate to unless it's blended really well i just I don't really just I don't care for that blend it does it does it's not stinky it's just it's not my preference but when it's blended with the birthday cake and the yellow cake it just bumps up the creamy factor way 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 high and it's 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 really good now blend it even more with sugar cookie royale and with zucchini bread this is dynamite that's why I grabbed this one because I thought mmm I can't get enough so good so creamy it's creamy, it's rich, it's fattening. This, I mean, it makes you want to get a spoon and just eat it. <laughs> it really does, but it will hurt you. So please don't. <laughs> this next one here. Now this one, uh, this one, I don't want to say it was a hard sell for me. Um, just because, well, you'll know why if you watch me and you know, and you know my, my preferences with scents. Uh, this one was kind of a hard sell, but given all the hype that was received in the group and the, and the attention, I had to try it. This is Hypnotic Vanilla. Hypnotic Vanilla. The description is, this vanilla will cast a spell on you. So I am not, I'm not one that gravitates to vanilla. It's vanilla. It's plain. It needs something, in my opinion. I know I'm in the minority because a lot of you guys just like to melt vanilla, vanilla blends, vanilla cupcakes, vanilla cake, just plain vanilla. I think vanilla needs a friend most of the time. However, I thought I would give this hypnotic vanilla a try. Let's see. This, it's very, it's hard to describe. It's a rich vanilla. It is similar I don't want to say it smells like vanilla extract because vanilla, vanilla extract has that, that's, um, you know, you're smelling vanilla extract kind of a thing. It has that rich vanilla scent, but this is, maybe it's more like a vanilla bean paste, which is more concentrated than vanilla extract. But I will have to get this warming and see what this does on warm to really see if it puts a spell on me because right now I'm getting vanilla extract but we'll say it smells like that but in a good way it is it's slightly floral but not too much i mean i mean vanilla comes from an orchid so it's going to have a little bit of that of that floralist that the floralness to it you, you know floral <laughs> floralness i don't know if that's a word or not but i will go with it um it has a little bit of that to me but it's hard to describe like i said i think this one needs the heat so stay tuned for that one Next one here, this is Monster Bread. This is Wildberry, Monster Cookie, and Baked Zucchini Bread. Fantastic. Yummy. Wildberry is not Wildberry Mousse. It's a little bit different, but it's similar, but it doesn't have a, a, the creaminess and a, a little bit of the, um, 
I think there's a little bit of raspberry. Well, I don't even know exactly what wildberry is, but I think just reading the description of wildberry mousse, it has a little bit of something extra in it. I love wildberry mousse and I like wildberry. Um, I didn't like wildberry for a minute though, until I had it blended with the right oils. Um, I needed it to be blended with heavy bakery. Sometimes wildberry was a little bit bitter smelling to me. Not wildberry mousse, just wildberry. This is done beautifully. I love this and I knew blending it with that zucchini bread and the monster cookie. Monster cookie is so good. It's a rich, heavy, just buttery vanilla cookie. This smells good. I'm getting the wild berry and I'm getting that gorgeous bump of bakery from the monster cookie and the royal zucchini, the, the um, baked zucchini bread. The one that's in my wrapper here, the tissue paper, is pistachio three cakes. Love my pistachio. Three cakes, again, is yellow cake, birthday cake, and cupcakes at Tiffany's blended with pistachio. And I actually, my very first time I purchased from Kathy, I grabbed just a scoop of pistachio. It's somewhere in this house. I think it's downstairs in my overflow storage. Yes, I do have overflow storage. I shouldn't, but I do. Um, it's down there. I need to go down and see, refresh my mind and shop my stash and see uh, what, what do I actually have down there still. But I think I moved, um, I think I moved those downstairs when I did my reshuffling for the summer into the summer season. I didn't, I didn't do a reshuffling from the, from the summer into the fall and winter, but I should. Maybe that'll be one of my winter projects when we can't go outside in January. Maybe I'll reshuffle everything around. So this one, her pistachio, I love. It is, I am in the, group of people that I don't get cherry from pistachio. I always get almond. And some almond is stronger than others. And I think the stronger the almond, I'm talking to where it's similar to amaretto. Amar amaretto is almond liqueur, but it it very identifies with cherry because they're, you know, our, our brain just, it's so close to each other. So I know the stronger the almond, the more cherry. If someone gets cherry from amaretto or almond, they're going to smell. This pistachio has a little bit of, I don't want to say sharpness to it. It just, it's strong. But when I know when this warms up, because I, because I've warmed it before, I've had, I've had Jenny's pistachio blends and this, this smells like the same pistachio oil. Um, they do taper down once they've been warming for a little while. So it takes that little bit of sharpness away. I love pistachio and I love it blended with this cake because pistachio cake, what's not to love? So good. My last scoop here is my one of my other requests. This is Boo's Spooky Castle. Boo's Spooky Castle. It was not on RG's Mario Melter list for her pre-order. And I was a little hurt at that because I was like, Boo, Boo has to come out because Boo only comes back like once a year in the Mario pre-order. So I thought, I'll see if Kathy will graciously pour uh, Boo's Spooky Castle. And guess what she did? She did pour it. Boo's Spooky Castle is fantastic, yummy blueberry bakery. It is Boo Berry. Now, Boo Berry is a cereal that's out at Halloween time. When I was growing up in, as a kid, you could get Boo Berry, Count Chocula, and whatever the hell else is in that cereal line. You could buy that all year round. But now they have made it to where you can only get it at Halloween time to make it a novelty. So Boo Berry is in that group. And blueberry is blueberry. And it might have a strawberry in there too, I, if I'm remembering right. Maybe it doesn't. But I wasn't allowed to eat those types of cereals anyways growing up. My mom, I, I know I was raised like a 90-year-old man. I was raised with grape nuts and Cheerios and shredded wheat and <laughs> all of those non-sugary cereals. And my parents did it to protect me from getting cavities which i thank them for now but at the time i just wanted my damn sugary cereal and my favorite was cookie crisp i loved loved cookie crisp but anyways booberry it is booberry vanilla crunch donuts and monster cookie this is blueberry bakery it's phenomenal it doesn't have a cereal vibe to it to me because it has that vanilla crunch donut and it has that monster cookie. Monster cookie, like I said earlier, is a heavy, rich, buttery, yummy, fantastic cookie. And the blueberry 
the, the the berry is just it's it's there if you like blueberry bakery please try boo's spooky castle because it'll knock your socks off it is it's one of my favorite mario line mario inspired melters and i have one bag left and i um i cracked it open when the Mario pre-order list was getting ready to be announced because I thought, oh, it's time to get more booze. But no, booze wasn't available. So I had to put um, my booze spooky castle back into the hoarding section. Uh, so now I have another one so I can use this sparingly just in case it doesn't get poured for a while. The last item I got here is called a chunk wax cookie. These are cookies that are poured with two different chunks and an overpour. So the purple and the blue and the, um, the purple, the blue and the pink chunks are different scents and the brown here is an overpour and that's one scent. So on here, this blend is wild berry, cotton candy frosting and zucchini bread. Now I'm not a super duper cotton candy person. I don't talk about a lot of cotton candy blends on my channel because most of the time I feel that they're a little just too sweet for me. Um, and however, this has wild berry and zucchini bread. So I thought I'll give it a try. I haven't had this combination before. So some of the chunks are wild berry. Some of the chunks are cotton candy frosting and so, and the overpour is baked zucchini bread. She tells you right here on the label. So this one, it smells like I'm getting zucchini bread right off the bat, which is fantastic. And I get a little bit of berry and a little bit of sweetness, extra sugar from the cotton candy. So that's what this one is all about. And then Kathy is so gracious and gives us a sample here. Let's see which one I got here. I don't remember. This one is, ooh, raspberry butter cookie. Raspberries blended with butter cookie. Now, I know this, um, is this a scoop? I think this, this is a scoop, I think, but I'll cut this into four pieces. I think that Kathy, um, I don't quite remember exactly the details now, but Kathy has a new raspberry oil that she's either reformulating a lot of her raspberry blends to use the new oil, or she's selecting some and she's reformulating them. I, I don't remember, but she has a new raspberry oil. And I do not know if this is the new raspberry, but I will tell you, let me get this out here again. This smells like a good raspberry. I am, the raspberry is dominant here. I'm not getting too much of the cookie. And this is a good, it's a good raspberry, but I will say at the tail end of my sniff, it does have a little bit of floral to it, but it's not bad. I have smelled worse raspberry, trust me. This is a good raspberry. Um, I have had, I had one of Kathy's blends before. It's, it is the, it's the raspberries poured over like a butter pecan crust, whatever that, whatever that blend is. And I absolutely love that raspberry. This smells a little bit richer of a raspberry to me. So this might be the new oil, but I, I'm not sure. So that's my haul from Scoopable Wax Melts. And um, I'm sure I'm going to make a small order in January for the pre-order just because I want to see what types of blends she's going to offer with her three cakes. It's going to be nothing but three cakes blends. Um, so if you're interested in that one, check that out. It'll be announced in her Facebook group. If you haven't joined yet, go ahead and do so. Um, then you can get all the updates and the admins in the group are fantastic. And um, yeah, check out Scoop of the Wax Melts. So hope everyone has a beautiful week ahead. Happy holidays. And I'll see you soon.